In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the video slider module. The video slider allows you to create a nice gallery of videos, and they can also be um, slid through like a slider or clicked through at the bottom as seen here. You can upload custom um, image overlays as well, so it looks really clean. And you can um, use your own self-hosted videos or you can use videos from YouTube as seen here. And they will automatically adapt to different um, column sizes and look great no matter what. So I have a page here that I like to add a video slider to and I want to add it down here below these two rows. And so let's add the video slider and jump into the settings and I'll show you how to set it up. So I'm going to add a new row here and then I'm going to click the insert module button and look for that video slider module which is all the way down here at the bottom. Once you click that, you're going to be greeted by the various video module settings. Now, as with all Divi Builder modules, the settings are broken up into three tabs, general settings, advanced design settings, and custom CSS. As a general rule of thumb, everything you need to build a really great page using the Divi Builder can be found inside the general settings. But if you want even more control over the appearance of the module, you can move over to the advanced design settings and custom CSS, which will have some additional um, customization options for the appearance of that module. Now I have some great tutorials that go over how to use these settings creatively, so I suggest you check those out. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to focus on the general settings. So let's head back to the general settings tab, and I'll go over how to create a video slider module. And you'll see various basic settings here that you can adjust for the video slider as a whole. But before we can actually, um, the, before we can actually use the video slider, we first have to add slides of videos. So we want to add our first video, and to do that, I'm going to click the Add New Video button here. And this will bring up um, various options for our video. Now, the admin label, this is just to, to keep track of the slide. So you want to maybe like name it something that you can remember. Um, this doesn't have anything to do with what appears in the front end of your site. It's purely for organizational purposes. So I might just call it slide one. And that's good enough for now. So each video slide uh, supports either self-hosted videos or um, videos hosted on third-party sites such as YouTube. So you can upload your own video or you can just link to a YouTube video and it'll automatically embed it. If you do host your own video, we suggest uploading both an MP4 and a WebM version. And the reason um, you should do that is because certain browsers only support one of the two formats. And so if you upload both formats, you have the best chance of um, every browser being able to play the video. So I could, I could upload my own video. I have some a couple uploaded here in both formats. So here's an MP4 version of my Drop or Ink video. And here's the WebM version of the same video. I'm going to upload both just to increase my chances of everyone being able to view these videos um, natively. Next up is the image overlay. So you can choose to have an image overlay, um, overlay the Im video interface, which kind of cleans it up a bit. And then um, users will have to click the play button on that overlay image and um, to reveal the true interface and actually play the video. Um, it just kind of clean things up a bit. And it's purely optional. And uh, for now, I'm just going to leave that blank, but I'll show you that later. Next up is the slider arrows color. So when you're sliding through the video, when you hover over the main video, some arrows will slide in. You can click those to go from, from video to video. And depending on the um, style you're going for, you can choose to have either light or dark arrows. And especially if you've uploaded a custom image, you'll know, you know what kind of colors you're using in the image. So if you're using a dark image, you might want to use a light arrow. And if you're using a light image, you might want to use a dark arrow. Um, so you can make that choice on a slide by slide basis. And since I know that this video it happens to be a pretty light color, has a light blue bright background, I'm just going to choose dark arrows, which I think will look nice. And since this is a slider, you will want to add at least two slides. So I want to add a new video, so I'm going to click add new video. And this time I'll add a YouTube video instead. So instead of doing a self-hosted video, I'll pull one from YouTube. And to do that, all you need to do is to copy and paste the URL of the video right into the video URL field. No need to upload a WebM video <coughs> since we're using YouTube instead. And this supports a lot of different services, basically all the major um, video hosting services, YouTube and Vimeo. Just copy and paste the full URL to the video in here, and the Divi Builder will do the rest. Now, since some of these um, interfaces um, can be a little bit ugly, although YouTube's much better than it used to be these days, um, I think I will upload an image overlay, which will cover up the, the, the video and replace it with a nice, beautiful image and um, a clean play button. 
instead of the um, standard video interface that YouTube uses. So I'm going to upload an image and choose a nice image to use, like this one. And that looks nice. And I'm going to save. And there we go, we have two slides, one self-hosted video, one YouTube video. One has a custom image overlay and one does not. Now that we've created two slides, I'm gonna go over the basic uh, slider module settings, which affects the, entire, the entirety of the slider module, whereas the settings we were dealing with earlier were just for those individual slides. So, First up, you have the option, if you have chosen an image overlay for the video, <clears throat> you can choose whether or not to display it on the main video. So typically, there's a one big video that, that's kind of like the featured video you're, you're looking at, and be, then there'll be s uh, several smaller thumbnails below it. Um, if you'd rather just have the thumbnail um, image overlay be applied to the smaller um, video thumbnails, you can do that by choosing to hide the video here, or you can choose to show it. Next up, we can choose to show or hide the slider arrows. If you'd rather just to have people click the thumbnail tracks at the bottom, um, you can hide the arrows. And um, vice versa, if you'd rather just have people use the arrows and hide the thumbnail tracks, you can hide those as well. Or use dot navigation, which is a little bit uh, more minimal. So I'll go through a few of these in a second. Um, slider controls colors, so if you are using <coughs> the dot navigation, you can choose between light or dark slider controls. So if you have a dark background color, you might want to use light. And if you have a light background color, you might want to use dark. And since I have a, dark, a light background color, I'm going to switch over to dark mode. Then we have our admin label CSS ID and CSS classes, which we don't have to worry about for this tutorial. So whenever you're building a module, you can always get a quick preview of what you built so far by clicking the preview icon here. And so it'll render the module inside of the parent section. So here's our, mo our slider module. We have two videos, um, our natively hosted video and our YouTube video. And we can slide through them like this or click the thumbnail tracks at the bottom to switch between the two. And I can always exit my preview here. And so, for example, if I want to go back to slide one and add a, an image overlay to that, I could. And then if I preview it, you'll see that the image overlay has been added. Um, which looks a little nicer, and you can switch between the two. And like I said, you can also choose whether or not to have that image overlay appear on the main track. So if you want to hide that, then when we preview, the first video will be just ready to play. There won't be any overlay image there. So you can turn that on or off as you choose. So let's add a few more videos. I'm going to just duplicate this a couple times to fill out our slider. I'm going to use all YouTube videos and just switch out a few of these um, images. So now we have a few different videos. And we can preview them here. <coughs> so now we have five videos, a couple different thumbnail tracks. So you kind of get the idea here. And as you can see, as I'm hovering over these, I'm realizing that, you know what, the dark, the dark color icon really isn't working so well. And so I think I'll probably go back here and change slider controls to light instead. And yeah, that's looking a lot better. And so we have four videos here, some th nice thumbnail tracks, and you can play the ma main video up top or slide through the other videos. And in this case, they're all the same video, but you probably want to use different videos. Yep, so that's a basic overview of the um, video module settings, so I'm going to save this video slider and update it. We can take a look at the front page to see how it looks on the front end. So loading our page, scroll down, you can see the video slider I've added here. We have thumbnail tracks enabled, so we have, you can click through the thumbnail tracks at the bottom, and we also have the slide arrows enabled, so you can slide through as well, but as I mentioned earlier, each of these can be, can be disabled if you'd like to just use one or the other. And that is a basic overview of the Divi Builder video slider.